Maybe you start going out with someone and you start making love with them and you start having sex and let me give you three tips to help you bring in more pleasure, more depth in your sex life. I work as a sex and intimacy coach and I see it all the time. The problem with sex in our society is the lack of depth, the lack of connection. Sex is cheap in the way that is on a very superficial level. Everything is about orgasms, everything is about performances, how we look like, and we're missing the point. And what we really desire is to feel connected with one another and this bring more pleasure and this bring more orgasm. So let me share with you three tips that can really help bring in this depth into your sex life. First one, presence. What I notice on my clients, mine wander to work to performances. Am I doing a good job? To how they look like? Do I look good from this position? To fantasies. So what you want to do is to just bring your mind back to the present moment, to the sensation on your body, to what's happening. And it's like a muscle. So you're training your mind to become more and more present. Down the track, you're gonna be able to stay in the moment much more and to feel much more, to get more from sex. Because you are there, you're not fantasizing, you're not thinking about work and you're not thinking if your cock is hard enough. Two, breath and sound. Often we learn how to make love, self-pleasuring, try to be quiet or feeling a bit guilty or ashamed when, you know, mom was around maybe even. We want to drop that because that leads to us having a very shallow breath. Breath is a powerful tool. It's in between like our subconscious and conscious mind. It's a great bridge. The breath really helps you to bring pleasure throughout your whole body and enhance the sensation. Putting it in action, if you are self-pleasuring, you can take deep breath. Exhale through the mouth, uh, making a gentle sound and focusing on the subtle sensations that are arising. If you are with a lover, synchronize your breath as you're making love. At a certain moment, just do it for a couple of minutes. It's gonna like feel like you're one breathing together and add so much connection between you. And the third one is eye gazing. The eyes are a gateway to the soul. So often when we make love, we like shot in our own pleasure, don't want to be seen. Open your eyes, allow yourself to be seen and see the other. Really see the depth of the other, beyond how they look like. Feel them deeply. I know that some of the things I said or maybe all of them might be out of your comfort zone. What I notice is that the magic happens out of the comfort zone. So what do I say to my clients is, try them and then tell me how you feel and usually what I say is like try for three months and then after three months you tell me if it's for you or not for you if it doesn't work for you let it go but I'm pretty sure that you're never gonna stop making sound you're never gonna stop eye gaze in one another you're never gonna stop to bring your mind back to the present moment because it's adding a lot they're game changer have fun